What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Strictly Diecast episode and forewarning you, um, if you hear any sort of barking in the background, I apologize. Puppy's going crazy up there playing with my other dog, so I may hear a little bit of that. Anyways, it's Friday, just hanging out, relaxing, enjoying this awesome weather that we've been having. It's been in like the mid to high 70s, low 80s, so fantastic weather. Finally, you can start really you know, getting some customs and stuff done, which at the end of this video, uh, I do have another custom that uh, I kind of explained in like the, the, the video of it, that um, this was kind of like a collab, even though um, my man, Anthony, uh, Bullet Tony Customs said that it was basically mine to do whatever I wanted with. It was actually a car he sent me a while ago that um, it already had a paint job on it, but he just couldn't bring the vision. And I ended up doing something really sweet with it. Kind of along the same lines as my MR2, but uh, a little bit cooler, I think. So stick around for that. Anyways, we are going to be cracking open, open some stuff. But first, I uh, thought I'd give you just a quick little uh, update on my RC Bronco here. I know a couple of you guys said that you were a little bit interested. So I figured I'd just do like maybe sprinkle in a little bit of content here and there on it. I uh, haven't really done much. Um, I did put different these are actually the stock springs on aftermarket shocks in the front and then the rear have stiffer um, springs on them and then i did get new wheels and tires um i did have a different set of tires for it but they were way too big <laughs> so uh, i think they were like 63 millimeter the stocks are 50 um these are 54 so they definitely still add like a nice scale look to it but uh yeah already testing them out nice and squishy I think I might do a little bit of a softer foam in them, but anyways, I got those mounted up. The wheels look really cool. Definitely something a little bit different. And then, um, yeah, other than that, I really don't, oh, and I did add um, some tail lights to it to give it a little bit more of a scale look and then added just some stickers on it. Little guy racing parts make some awesome stuff. So yeah. Oh, and then I did uh, I did also get my, uh, my Michael Myers head painted up and put in there so i think that looks really cool so yeah definitely pretty fun and uh who knows maybe i'll give you guys like a little course update i don't know if i mentioned but me and my little brother are building a um a 124 scale crawler course in my garage so yeah anyways what we will be cracking open is like i mentioned the other two out of the auto strauss set the bmw and the volvo and then i already have the mercedes which you guys saw um, previously so we'll be cracking those i did already crack this auto world that i found a while ago because i used this as a pocket ride so that one's already freed up but we will still be getting a closer look at that and then uh yesterday i don't normally actually i've never picked these up i only have one of these that i got from uh chris uh northeast ohio diecast collector um and that was forever ago that's when i first started youtube but um this is a Kings of Crunch truck, and this one just really popped out to me. I really love the colors of it, but this is the 1983 Dodge Ram W350, um, nicknamed the Mopar Magic. I thought this truck was sweet looking. I love the blue and the purple and the pink on it. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna crack this thing open and take a look and see what these things are all about. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna crack open the one I got from Chris as well. Uh, this is the 81 Chevrolet K20, the Southern Sunshine. I thought this was a really cool looking truck. So we're going to crack up then both of those as well. Something a little bit different, but we're going to take a look at them. So other than that, hope you have a great start to your weekend and I will get the camera turned around for you guys. We will get a closer look at all this nice premium goodness. And then you guys will take a look at my custom and that's that. And uh, also real quick. I want to mention and i will be um making it a point um to talk about this more often up until the point but uh, i did share on my community page um about the diecast misfits which side note yes i am in the diecast misfits now so that's really awesome uh they reached out to me a while ago but uh kind of just kept it under wraps until they said something about it so i am very very excited for that but Really don't want to talk too much, at least in this video about it, but regardless, I'm very excited for it. But um, the June 15th build, um, it is going to be for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, 
We are going to send in customs, super treasure hunts, treasure hunts, RLCs, premiums, whatever it is to donate, to auction off on whatnot. And all of the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds is going to St. Jude's. So it's really awesome. I really encourage you guys to do that. And um, I do have already completed um, what I'm going to be sending in, but it is also a collab between me and Bullet Tony Customs. It's something we've been working on for months and months and months, and we both decided that we are going to send it in to get auctioned off. But again, I will talk about that on a later video. So we'll get this thing turned around and take a look at some premiums. All right, so got the camera flipped around, and the first one we are looking at here is this beautiful bright red BMW M3 E46, and this may be one of my favorite recolors of this. This thing looks super, super clean in this bright red paint, and these chrome 10-spoke wheels are a perfect choice to slap on this thing. Um, you guys know the deal already. Full um, detailing front and rear and side. It's got the vents on there, a really nice touch. Uh, clear glass and black interior, black metal base, but very clean, but it, this car needs nothing else. Um, it does have the CSL style um, rear lip on it as well, on the trunk, which is a really nice touch. But yeah, I have always been a big fan of the M3s. I just love the boxiness of them. And uh, they're pretty quick for what they are as well. So yeah, that's a very, very nice casting right there. Glad I got that one. And then we have the 73 Volvo, uh, seven, yeah, 742, I think. Let me check real quick. Nope, 142 GL, sorry. I cut the uh, card there, I couldn't read it. This little thing, I was super pumped to see this turn into a premium. And the stance, oh my goodness, they nailed it. Slammed on some chrome TE36s, perfect choice. And this teal metallic paint is just fantastic. I love all the silver um, striping on the side, around the grill, around the windshield, or the windows, I should say. Uh, front and rear detailing and then it's got the little single ex exit exhaust out the back there Very clean car. You would definitely see this at a car show in Europe without a doubt and um, I guess I should have talked about the car art a little bit um, all these This whole set is like very like Euro very like out in the mountains and stuff like that with the scenery. So as you can see so uh, Nothing too crazy. I do like the card art though. It's kind of like cartoony, but kind of not in the same way. So yeah, that's a very nice car. Clear glass and black interior. And then after that, I do not have any more card art to show you, but I do have this thing. And let me see if I can get the, uh, get the hood open for you guys real quick. I did have it open, but I'll tell you what though, that is my only complaint about Auto World is how hard these hoods are to open sometimes not that this is anything spectacular underneath but oh my goodness guys this thing is not not wanting to open here oh well sorry guys i tried anyways this is the dodge conquest um this is by auto world and they did a fantastic job on this model. Very period correct. Bright red paint job. I forget the actual name of the paint. Um, chrome wheels that look very nice on here. Very like stock looking wheels as what would have came on these things back in the mid 80s. Um, black interior, clear glass, and very well detailed. Not that there's much detailing, but it is done nicely. So if you guys haven't been picking up some auto worlds i highly recommend it for the price and the quality you cannot beat it um very solid cars um you know metal base all that stuff rubber tires very nice very nice stuff for what you get so and this is cheaper than a hot wheels granted they're all stock looking cars but i mean it never hurts to have something like that in your collection as well so there is that one very nice and I'm probably gonna have to uh, zoom out the camera for you guys. Oh yeah, well, there we go. So 
here is the green light monster truck the kings of crunch i picked up this thing is really cool let me actually get more of a there we go that's a little better sorry about that but yeah um like I said, this is actually the first green light casting of anything I have ever cracked open. And actually feeling this thing, these things are very well made. Very heavy. Um, very well detailed. Like I said, I love the paint job and stuff on these things. And uh, they're just cool little trucks because, I mean, they're still, you know, they're still scale. They're still 164. They're just lifted up like backwoods monster trucks. And I think that that is really, really cool. Um, they are kind of on the pricey side though. Um, after tax, it was like pretty much eight bucks, but I mean, it is a monster truck. It's a little bit bigger, big rubber tires, uh, metal on metal, very nice paint job. Um, these are, I guess, numbered. This one is number 8,423. I really don't know if that means anything. It really doesn't mean anything to me because I opened it anyway, so I really don't care. Uh, I don't really think that these are going to be something I'm going to collect, but there are other ones that have caught my eye, but I've just passed on them. But uh, yeah, still a really cool looking truck though, regardless. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys have picked up any of these as well. And then, got this one. Again, I got this one from my buddy Chris, and uh, this is a, a sweet looking truck. I love this thing, the old square body. Southern Sunshine, with the yellow, orange, and red striping on there, red interior, got the KC lights up top, white wheels, very clean looking truck. Very, very cool. Oh, something on the windshield. I don't know, that might be on the inside. Oh well. But, yeah, again, let me know if you guys have uh, ever bought one of these and what, what you guys think about them. You know, are they, are they worth the eight bucks, do you think? Um, they may have been cheaper in the past, but like I said, I never really picked them up, but I definitely think they're cool looking, you know, for what they are. So yeah, and uh, I don't think this one, yeah, I don't see a number or anything on this, but again, don't really care. So there you have it, guys. That will conclude this free at Friday here. Get these things all lined up here. Do a cool little... See how see how monstrous these things are compared to <laughs> some other cars. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which one was your favorite. Um, I would say probably as far as the trucks go, probably gonna have to pick this. Is that hood open? No, kind of looked like it did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I love that style. But the paint job on that thing is super sweet. And then as far as cars go. I'm going with the 846 without a doubt. So other than that, um, like I said, I will show off this custom that I recently got done and I did actually send it to somebody as a gift, um, but they do not have YouTube or at least a YouTube channel. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about my custom and we will uh, see you in the next episode, guys. Have a great weekend. Hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, so like I previously mentioned, I got yet another custom finished up. And um, this one is not 100% my own custom, if you will. Uh, I actually kind of finished this one from Bullet Tony Customs. This was one he sent a while ago that um, he had an awesome paint job on it, but he just couldn't figure out the rest of the vision for it. And... I was like, you know what? I think I can do something really cool with it. So I will show you guys what I came up with. This is a Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. Uh, and this is the Liberty Walk one. There she is. So again, um, this is not 100% my custom. Uh, he said that it is mine to do whatever I want with it, but I am not taking full credit with it. Um, I refuse to. I will never take credit for somebody else's work. But um, yeah, so what I did with this thing is kind of similar with what I did with my Toyota MR2 um, as far as the twin turbo setup goes. But um, I don't know if you guys have caught it yet or not. I actually uh, kind of engine swapped this one. <laughs> 
but uh, I did use, I guess you could say a V10 or V12 engine. I forget what comes in these things, but uh, so before I get into that, basically I um, I custom fitted the twin turbo setup from the cyber speeder on it. So there's the turbo setup and I did get a gold uh, paint pen. So I did like some of the exhaust and turbo housings and stuff in gold. And then um, this was just done in this, I don't even know what you want to call it. The light actually makes it seem a little bit darker than it is, but it's like this reddish orangish color, really cool. But um, I did the, uh, like the sides of the doors here black. And then I did the vents and stuff in the bumpers black and then I custom did those headlights as best as I could to the actual Huracan headlights. And then I also did the taillights as well. Went to try to do as close to the real thing as possible. I've looked up a couple pictures and this is what I came up with. So I thought it turned out really cool. Um, so this one is not screwed because of how I had to do this base and stuff. I did not have screws long enough. So I did just JB weld this together, but no big deal, whatever. I'll probably actually end up painting this black just to blend it in a little bit more but uh yeah i mean it it rolls it does roll it's a little bit wonky but uh yeah it does roll and then um yeah so here is the engine um this was actually out of the oh what was it it it's that batman pig warmer van uh actually you know what i think it's the ford transit van has this engine in it i believe i could be wrong but um because it has the exhaust on it as well sticking up through the back of the truck and uh anthony was like you know what i've always wanted to see that engine or use that engine as a custom i'm like dude say no more i'm gonna make it happen and lots and lots and lots of trimming trimmed off the exhaust trimmed the bottom of it to make it fit up there but honestly guys it fits very very well and it adds a whole new look to this huracan in my personal opinion i mean it looks pretty sweet <laughs> did some red valve covers on it did a some other really small detailing to it but all in all very happy with how it came out and uh figured it look cool with the twin turbo set up there so yeah um other than that didn't really do any interior stuff or anything underneath there's really not much going on here so um yeah but this actually is being so well by the time you guys uh, are seeing this this will have already been going to its new home but uh it's actually going to somebody that is not on youtube but um somebody who has hooked me up in the past with uh some stuff and i want to return the favor so i figured you know we i will send this to him so hopefully uh he enjoys it but yeah that is what i came up with there again this is not 100 percent my custom that's why i'm not putting my uh my channel logo on the bottom of it i'm not taking 100 percent credit for it uh, bullet tony customs did a fantastic airbrush job on it and i just kind of brought it the rest of the way so yeah really hope you guys uh dig it and uh let me know what you think down in the comments i think it turned out really cool definitely one that i'm proud of especially trying something new with the engine and stuff so yeah thank you guys for uh checking it out and we'll see you in the next one